there. Oh my gosh, you guys, if they see me, they're going to come running over. So I'm just going to do a video of Mr. Fantastic and Dorian. They're fired up after lunch. But these two have been loving their time together. I don't think they see me here yet or hear me. But I got to see what the heck they got a hold of because Mr. Fantastic was ga gagging a little bit earlier. What you guys got? Now they come over. Oh, Doreen got it. Anyway, you guys. Oh, <laughs> Doreen, she did a hop over. It's so sad, but also great. So one of my favorite families ever is getting Doreen. And the best news about that is that I really, I'm just unbelievably grateful how many dogs are showing from this litter. But I'm thrilled that two of the girls will for sure be getting bred and maybe even another. And again, this is like not that I ever want to saturate the market. They won't be in this area for one thing, any of them. Um, well, kind of, Doreen. Uh, but the other two that are probably likely going to be getting bred are not in this area. They're in the Michigan and then Nebraska. Um, and that's just, you know, pending championships and health tests and all. Um, but I'm just delighted that Doreen will almost for sure be because she's incredibly strong among a huge group of strong puppies. And Mr. Fantastic, he's just so handsome and beautiful. And so now, just like that, he has a home. I totally, if you guys are listening, don't don't take it the wrong way. But I just figured there was no way that I was going to like these people. They looked good on paper, but it just felt like it was too soon and... Uh, you know, there would be no rush getting, keeping Mr. Fantastic or Doreen really even until they were four months. Well, then Doreen went with my favorite family here. She'll be leaving this coming Thursday. And now these guys are amazing. They seem like just completely awesome members of the team and family. And they're willing to, to at least check out. I didn't want to push the, them hard for showing because, uh, you know, they put on their questionnaire no interest, but then they did say they would at least go to one show and maybe talk further. And I do think that most people that end up seeing the siblings there, and I know that, you know, time commitment is something, but the puppies finish fast and they do gain so much from showing. And uh, Stacy and Anthony, I didn't even talk to you guys yet about that, about actually what you do gain from it, um, because it is tremendous amount of training. But little Mr. Fantastic, he's going to be... Uh, at home with Stacy when she works from home, but eventually Mr. Fantastic's going to be a gym rat, which I love. Um, he'll be hanging out at the gym that Anthony and his brother own, so it just went perfect. They're an ideal and wonderful family, just like all the rest of you guys to whom I'm so grateful, and honestly, I feel like I owe a lot to YouTube because I never thought I would find families on YouTube, but in reflecting several families came from YouTube this time and of course a third of the puppy owners are repeat owners which is always a great sign for how happy they are with the dogs but Mr. Fantastic let me see look at buddy I was watching him more closely look at his face he's got the most gorgeous eyeliners when you really look at him you know how I'm always saying those remind me of that like tears around the clowns faces well he's got like some exquisite markings so um I'm just thrilled and happy about it, but I'm also kind of sad. And Henriette, I know you're going to be really sad. And I had just made a new space in the living room, too, just kind of more for the long haul, thinking that I'd at least have Mr. Fantastic for a while. But now he's leaving, too, probably next weekend or the latest the weekend after. And uh, all I can say is I'm going to enjoy the heck out of both of them this week in between what else I'm doing and make it a priority because I'm going to miss them just like my little song. So anyway, oh well, um, look at them going. They're so cute. What a litter. I can't say enough about the temperaments of these guys. I mean, look at them. It just easy going, happy go lucky sweethearts. And I'm hearing great, great things from uh, reports from every single one of the superheroes placed. Just unbelievable. And I just, again, when you get results like this, even though I wrestled so much with breeding Willow a fourth time, all I can say is it must have been the right thing to do. And the, I will say this to, to throw in a non-dog related gem, just about how important it is to listen to your heart and follow your intuition and your inner voice. Because 
I have really got a system down for that now with the placing of puppies and so far it's absolutely never steered me wrong so I'm going to keep with that and it just reinforces a life lesson that I always felt was something uh, to do which was to follow your intuition and your inner knowing um, you know you look at it spiritually like an inner knowing but like even I know law enforcement always tells you uh, always go with your gut feeling as far as fears and things like that. I mean, we're in an anxious world now, so people are probably afraid about a lot of things, but I think in your core, you can, if you know you're really afraid, that's also um, something to follow. So like I say, um, anyway, now I'm talking too much, but I'm excited about all this and I'm going to uh, just say goodbye at this moment, maybe do another cute video of these two playing like crazy. All right, see ya. <laughs>